Nighttime. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, you picked a good night because there is a wonderful fundraiser happening called the Gourmet Affair. And it is all about benefiting a wonderful organization, Big Brothers, Big Sisters. And here to talk about it, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Linda Wong and the Honorable Mayor Mufi Hanneman. Please join us. Gourmet affair. Sounds like there's food involved. It's food. Well, you got my attention. <laughs> and 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 the uh, the mayor is our honorary chair. Yeah, he he was nice enough to take time out from his busy schedule to agree to be the honorary chair for the uh, event. This is the 16th year that wow. um, Big Brothers is holding this gourmet affair. Mm -hmm. um, we're we're really excited because this year it's called San Francisco Sizzle. <laughs> and we're taking everybody back to San Francisco. We've got... Um, Not San literally taking no, them no. back, I'm just... Okay. <laughs> as soon as you enter the ballroom, you'll feel like, like you're in San Francisco. Where's it taking place? It's going to be at the Hilton Hawaiian Village Tapa Ballroom mm -hmm. on Friday, April 4th from uh, 6 to 10. Uh, chef Sam Choi has invited Charles Fan, who is the chef and owner of um, the Slanted Door in San Francisco. It's, it's one of the most... Um, the prestigious, uh, yeah, prestigious yeah, sure, prestigious. and 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 the event. It, I'm get, I mean, I know there's going to be a lot of a delicious food, but you all, you also have entertainment. We have entertainment. We've got um, Renee Paulo doing piano stylings throughout the evening. Mm -hmm. Jake Shimabukuro has has um, offered his services because he's been a spokesman in, in the past for Big Brothers mm -hmm. Big Sisters. Um, we may have some special guests like the mayor and Danny Clay <laughs> Kinney if we can coax them up. <laughs> well, you know, you, that's the thing about being the mayor, though, isn't it, Mufi? You never know what's going to come up. Right? You never know. You always have to be prepared. You know, and I mean, I, I know he, he does as much as he can, but believe me, yes. you know, if another water main breaks or something, believe me, <laughs> you know, he knows where his priorities lie. And by the way, uh, folks, we'd just like to say that, you know, uh, the mayor was going to sing a song, but you're, you know, a little, little problem with the pipes, I understand, today, huh? Well, I'll, I'll save it up for April 4th. Okay. There you go. <laughs> and, and the reason I bring that up is Renee Paolo is here today and was going to play, but uh, thanks to Renee, uh, even though we, we can't use him. But uh, now, so uh, how, do, how do we get tickets and where's okay, the uh, well, well, website just, well we, we do have a website big brothers big sisters has a website mm -hmm. with all the information we have presenting sponsors already and that's Connell Airlines and Y Hata uh, yeah. limited uh, we've got first Hawaiian Bank already signed up wow. Kamehameha schools I mean we've got a list of great sponsors but tickets are two hundred forty dollars um, if you're coming as an individual if you'd like to buy a table, we start them at ten thousand. <laughs> hey, yes. this is for a good cause. Well, uh, big brothers, big sisters. I right. mean, you know, you know, I I know the importance of big brothers and big sisters because a while back uh, I I tried to start uh, little brothers and little sisters, uh -huh. where people my age found somebody younger to take care of them, and it didn't fly. Good. So I, I know the work you're doing is important. D tell me about some of the uh, Big Brother, Big Sister stories that, uh, well, you know. I'm not that familiar with them. Um, I understand Dennis Brown, our executive director, will be there. <laughs> you're not that familiar with them, Linda? I'm one of the volunteers. <laughs> I'm just one of the volunteer co-chairmen for the fundraiser. Oh, I see. But, but there are, there, we will have... Well, hold a on, big now, now, now movie sounds like he <laughs> might know a little bit about it. Well, well, first of all, I think we need to emphasize the fact that uh, this year's uh, particular fundraiser is in memory of Ron Wright, and that's why I'm involved. Uh, I was asked to be the honorary chair because Ron Wright and I were personal friends for a long, long time. And so when Lauren asked me and Linda asked me if I would lend my name to this, I said, absolutely. I've gone to these events in the past, and Ron was really instrumental in making sure that there were long-term uh, corporate uh, commitment, like Continental Airlines, of which he's worked for many years. But the gist of it is that the Boys and Girls Club is a one wonderful mentoring organization. People volunteer uh, to mentor these young boys and girls. And, and change they, lives. They change yeah. lives. And many of them continue that relationship even beyond the initial phase of the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, bro big brothers, big sisters. So this is why uh, I think it's going to be successful again, and we are here to sort of say, please come out 
and support the big brothers, big sisters, because what? they fill a void in our community. What, and not only that, when you support something like this, I mean, you are literally improving you know, the, the community. These are, these are kids that might you know, go off in a whole other direction, but you know, with a positive role model, they go on, and I understand, come back and find young people that they end up me mentoring. That's right, and, and I think that's what it's all about. A lot of these kids here, uh, come from <clears throat> single parent households, mm -hmm. or some of them don't have their parents at all, and here's a chance for someone to fill that void of being a father figure, a mother figure, an uncle and aunt. Right, and that's why these corporate uh, sponsors are so responsive. Now tell me the date one more time. Uh, April 4th. April 4th? Uh, Friday, April 4th, at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. Um. Gourmet Affair, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with more of Nighttime. <laughs> we continue. <laughs> I learned early from my coaches that success comes from a lot of hard work. Then about two years ago, I thought my career might be over because of extreme pain in my shoulder. I couldn't practice, I could hardly even compete. I could have gone to any surgeon in the country, but I came to trust the bone and joint specialist at Straub because a coach of mine is one of them. They treated my shoulder, and now with their help, I'm back. When it really mattered, I chose Straub.